Hi, this is The Wandering Newbie here with a new LP. I wanted to get back more into the territory of games that I'm most familiar with. And, as you can see, we're on the Wii U Wii menu. Now, the game that we're going to be playing isn't actually a Wii game, as you can guess because there's no game in there. It's this, a WiiWare game, called Rage of the Gladiator. This was released by Ghostfire Games back in early 2010. And what attracted me to this game and kept me playing throughout the whole thing was that this game really wants to be Punch-Out. Like, it really wants to be improved Punch-Out. There are some slight issues with it that we'll see as we go along. One of them, it takes itself way seriously. That you'll actually see this in a couple of moments when we watch the intro. This game has quite the story, and I'm leaving it all in here, so enjoy. This is the story of a land distant from your own. A savage land, teeming with mystical creatures. Creatures such as minotaurs, demons, and dragons. This is the story of the greatest of all human cities. The majestic city of Avalanche. Avalanche is awe-inspiring in its scale and prosperity. But all was not well in Avalanche. Over the last few weeks, darkness has descended on us, and we may not be able to escape it. I am Gracious, Prince of Avalanche, and this tale is my story. It is a story of betrayal, greed, and power. It is the tale of how I was forced to fight against my will, a fight for my very life. This is the tale of how I fought in the arena. Somehow, I must survive. Oh, cursed legs! Hello there, Prince Gracious. I am Master Yi. I was sent here to prepare you to fight. Let us begin. Come, attack me. So Master Yi here is going to teach us how to dunk. I've already stated this game is Punch-Out. If you know how to play Punch-Out, you know how to play this. The only reason I'm leaving this tutorial in here is because it's forced. I think. Did I, did I actually accept it? Whatever. It explains some mechanics, so I don't have to explain them later. Just like punch out, you can attack high, you can attack low. Except you have to press down to attack low instead of press high to attack high. I just show off. You know, look at all these moves. Also, attacking low is kicking, which is amazing. Well done. You hold A to block, which I actually like better than holding up. Dodge left, dodge right, standard punch out moves. The one wrench is jumping. It really messes with stuff and actually messes with your head if you come into this being a fan of punch out. Because you always forget about the jump. You can of course counter attack before people hit you for extra damage and to actually build quite a bit of meter. You can see that on the right side. Meter will be ex uh, explained in a little bit, so don't worry about it. Of course the game explains, hey this is punch out, dodge, counter attack. You know the deal. Dodge, they get, they get dizzy, punch them. Now for the meter. This is your star punch more or less, but I really like the way it works. Mainly in that it looks amazing. You get so many different ones of these over the course of the game that it's really fun to see each of them. And that's more or less it. Now you are ready. Good luck. Of course, that was just the tutorial. Just go to the next video. We'll see 
Tagon here. At least I think that's how that is. I think that's a T. It's either a T or like a weird J. But that's next video. See you then.